one now? Yeah. Okay. Responsible freedom starts in every individual's heart. And it boils down to three fundamental principles. To do no harm, be honest with your contracts, and to honor certain moral rules. Regardless of your faith, there are certain things that are wrong. In every culture, murder is murder. It's wrong. Rape is wrong. And in order for us, we, the majority, have to have responsible freedom, we have to live by certain rules that do not come from the government, that come from our heart. Now, I'm trying to remember everything I said. I, I also spoke of the, the powers that be that we have elected to manage our money for us also have a duty to general care towards us. And if they are negligent in that duty to general care, then every time they say no to us after that, they lose their right to govern us, and we have granted them the privilege. Okay, they lose the right and they gain the privilege if they're negligent. And every time you want to approach your government or access your system wherever you are, before you even approach your government, you have to take away their answer. You have to take away their excuse to say no before you even talk to them. That way, when they can't lawfully say no, they lose their right to govern you. And you still have your freedom and responsibility in your heart to your fellow man. Now, in Canada here, we have something called the Cons Consolidated Revenue Fund. This has been laid out in the Constitutions Act, and it's stated for the purpose of public funding for public service. Uh, wheelchairs for the disabled, welfare, all these things <coughs> comes from the Consolidated Revenue Fund to which the federal tra transfer payments come to each province. That's what the provinces are talking about with their budget. And it's from that fund that a politician will access to buy a $5,000 chair that he's only going to sit in once for a meeting in Africa. Okay, we also have a right to access that fund. But in order to do that, the Minister of Finance uses the excuse that that's not within his mandate. But because we're the majority, we have the right to increase that man mandate. Okay, that's another platform. But the basic heartbeat of what I'm saying is if you want something from your government, you can't do it from an attacking position making statements. If you ask the right questions that they can't say no to, they lose their right to deny you.